Lions TV, this is The Den Daily bringing you all the latest gossip views and transfer news from in and around The Den. <laughs> this, as far as I'm concerned, is absolutely fantastic news. This broke yesterday, the Tuesday the 15th, today's Wednesday the 16th. We're doing a podcast tonight, by the way, live at 8 o'clock, The Den Debate returns. But getting back to yesterday, it was released by reluctant Nico, Alan Nixon, on Twitter. I am a Patreon of his... So I've got the information for two ninety nine, and it was worth every single penny. I actually, be honest, I couldn't believe what I was seeing when I read it because the news is that George Long is to leave Millwall and join Norwich after Tim Krull's departure, and he will compete with Angus Gunn for the first team position at Carrow Road. <laughs> don't tell him. Don't tell him. Honestly, I, I can't believe that. One thing I don't believe about that headline which is right there, is that he will be competing for a number one slot because he wants to leave Millwall because he can't get in as number one. Um, he's definitely not going to go and get Angus Gunn out of goal up there in East Anglia. And also, the other thing that really interested me about that article was it says George Long is to be released by Millwall. Now, listen, it's not the end of the world, that, as far as I'm concerned. However, he was given a new contract at the back end of the last season. I've covered this in various videos. So this is how it would work. Now, the Lions aren't just going to pay him up and say, OK, sorry about that, we made a mistake. So there's your contract money up and off you go. George Long clearly wants to leave. And Rowett's come out in the press and said, um, you know, he's been professional throughout. But George is now actively sorting and he's out looking for a new club. Now, as far as I'm concerned, you know, I might be wrong. But in my opinion, reading between the lines as a fan only, he's thrown a wobbly because... He should be on the bench on a Saturday. He was clearly first choice. Harry's gone to fourth choice now. All of a sudden, I don't know. So he should be on the bench, being the backup goalkeeper to um, Sarkic. However, he isn't. And why is he not? Was He's looking for a new club. Is he out doing door-to-door -door fucking inquiries? Of course he isn't. He's got an agent. So from as far as I can read between the lines, in my opinion, George Long's thrown a, thrown a wobbly. Rowett's covered it in the press. No, no, he's fine. He hasn't. He's actively searching himself a new club, he's gone out and done it door to door, George, by the look of it. And somehow, he must have an absolute fucking world of an agent. Probably the same agent as Joel Narcher. He looks like he's going to get a move to Norwich. And do you know what? Listen, fair play to Long and fair play to Archer. Because if you can nick a living in life without doing a lot, then I, I take my hat off to you. And, and earning good money as well. So nothing against either of those players. I said this about Archer a long time ago. Go and be a number two because you're a horrendous number one and you'll never get a substantial amount of games at any other club other than our club. And I've proved that to be absolutely right. I think he played fucking 30 games for Oxford and he just sits on the bench for QPR. And look, I ain't got a problem with that. Go and earn the money if you can, if you can get away with it. But these two players are two of the worst players or people at their jobs I've ever seen. George Long looks great in goal. He's got zero attributes of a goalkeeper other than he can punt the ball long. So what Norwich seeing him as a potential number one, I have absolutely no idea. If that's the case, sack the manager or sack the person who sought after him, if it wasn't George Long knocking on their door. Uh, terrible person. <laughs> terrible goalkeeper, I suppose to say. Not a terrible person. I don't know him as a person. I'm sure he's lovely. But look, he looks like he's going to be going out the door. Will there be a fee involved? I'll get back to it. Um, look, it would work to one of two ways. If a player wants out, then the manager will say, well, OK, well, off you go then. Just terminate your contract and pick up, you know, where you left off at Norwich. It'll be a similar deal on similar money. If a player doesn't want to leave and a manager wants him out, then the manager, you know, will have to part up a contract potentially or will have to come sort of some sort of arrangement. So if he's going to be released by a mere wall, that says to me, again, reading between the lines, it's just my opinion, that George Long has walked away from his contract at mere wall and will more than likely join Norwich then on a free if he's just going to go as a freebie, go in as their number two. Never in a million years will he get in their first team. We all know that, but it will no longer be our problem. So I'll give you more information on that if and when it is completed. I expect it to be. It's gathering serious pace with some reliable sources online. George Long will be leaving Mill Football Club, released by the look of it, and go and join Norwich to compete with Angus Gunn. Get the cigars out, Angus Gunn. Uh, you've got an easy ride there, my brother. Please subscribe to Lions TV. Hopefully, I'll be back later with some more videos because there is lots to cover today before the podcast tonight. Come on, you Lions.